What's going on guys? Derek here from Wilson Audio Labs. We're going to do a recap here on this Taramp Smart 3. We're kind of blown away with it with the price slash performance ratio of this amp just through the roof and the way it did equal power across one to two ohms. The amp is still available right now on Amazon at $265. Make sure you check the video description below to see what the current price is. Hopefully it's the same. It hasn't gone up. But we decided to do some additional low impedance testing using resistors and we also did some tests using subwoofers so stay tuned let's see what we find all right so i was told to try this tar amps uh smart 3 at 0.8 so i'm gonna try it at 0.8 we're gonna do certified and we're gonna do dynamic let's try certified first so we get 40 hertz here we go hopefully we won't blow the amp up All right, 3,152 watts. And again, the amp seems to be smart enough to shut off the current so it's not going to blow up the amp or anything like some of the other <laughs> Brazilian amps. Let's try dynamic and see what it does. All right, Tar Amp Smart 3. We're going to try 0.8 dynamic at 40 hertz. Here we go. Crazy power, look at that, 6,353 watts. Amazing. It knows the current, it knows everything else. 3,151 watts at 0.67. All right, this test has no useful meaning, but we figure we do it anyway, just for fun. 0.67 dynamic for the Taramp Smart 3, 40 hertz. Here we go. All right, it looks like it's limiting the current, 6,533 watts, which is still incredible for this amp, absolutely insane. All right, so this Tar Amp Smart 3 has been pretty incredible so far on the test bench. And it just pretty much knows when to limit the current. So it knows when to shut off. It doesn't have any problems, not blowing up, anything like that. We're gonna try half ohm certified at 40 Hertz, which is a crazy test. Uh, massively brutal test for an amplifier, especially one this small and a Brazilian amp. This is a full bridge amp, so I would not recommend doing this, but I'm gonna try it anyway, because you guys gave me the thumbs up that I requested. So we're gonna find out what it does. Half an ohm certified Tar Amp Smart 3, 40 Hertz. Hold on to your hats, here we go. All right, so didn't quite make the 3K, but we made 2,700 watts and the amp didn't shut down. We didn't get the measurement here because I didn't. Here, let's do this. We're gonna try it again. You big dummy. All right, so we got this on max. Here we go, let's try it again. 40 Hertz. All right, so it shut down the amp again because it knew when it reaches its current limit. And there you go, 2,590 watts, 13 volts, 285 amps drawn. The amp is smart, it shuts down. It will not detonate on itself, which is a good thing. So there you have it, Tar Amps Smart 3 for the win. Can't say anything else about it. Can't say anything bad, except for make those inputs a little bit bigger. Give us two RCA ins, two RCAs out. Make that low pass a 24 dB per octave because I am getting some vocals in my subwoofer. And give us a remote bass level. I mean, I know it's a lot to ask, $265 amp, but still, you got to make things better, right? Hey, let's do it. So you want real world tests with subwoofers? Here you go, my friends. Check it out. We're going to hook up the AMM1. We're going to find out how much power this amp does. Half ohm to a subwoofer. Let's see what we got. All right, so we're gonna do a quote unquote real world test for you guys with this Taramp Smart 3. 
Um, I'm gonna have the AMM1 hooked up and we're also gonna hook up the massive audio. This is the BOA uh, 121, the subwoofer that's supposed to handle all kind of crazy amounts of power, like 6,000 watts RMS or something. So I've got both of the coils. It's a half ohm, no, it's one ohm per coil. So I have it wired up in parallel and I'll show you guys what the resistance is but it's gonna be nice to have the AMM1 hooked up as well because it'll tell us what the actual impedance is. All right, here we'll measure the resistance of the coils. Again, they're in parallel. You can see 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3. <laughs> How much lower can we go? Looks pretty stable right there at 0 0.3, 0 0.2. Wow, we're going down to zero. That's not good. Anyway, we're gonna have the AMM1 wired in too, so we can see what it actually is with um, with music going to the subwoofer. All right, here I have Magic Mike fill the bass. You can see the average ohm impedance of the driver here is around one ohm with music. I'll turn it up a little bit here. rises a little bit Clipping right around 3,000 watts. You see that? Amp is always starting to warm up a little bit. Let's see if we can get that 3,000 watts. Now, I'll try to show you the clipping because I'm going to show you the tar amps meter and the SMD meter at the same time. stuff falling off the walls friends <laughs> all right now the fan finally comes on all right the fan comes on we have heated up the amp let me get the temperature meter we'll see what it's at all right after cranking some hard bass music with the tar amp smart three we're still in the 90s i mean 97 degrees fahrenheit that is not bad for amp for an amplifier i mean it feels nice and warm here the fan came on momentarily during the last song but we were killing it we were getting 3,000 watts to this massive audio boa subwoofer which is rated 6,000 rms if it was in the right box unfortunately it's not in the right box but that's a different story for a different day <laughs> wow i'm still impressed with this thing man it was killing that sub and i have no complaints of the sound quality whatsoever clipping 
and the fan has finally come on. Let's see. Barely warm, friends. Barely warm. All right, Taramp Smart 3. This is half ohm dynamic, 40 hertz. I don't know if it can handle it, if it's gonna go up in smoke, but we're gonna try it. Here we go, half ohm dynamic burst, 40 hertz. What? It's not even showing clipping. Look at that, 8,000? Did I, did I read that right? 8,014, I think I read that right. Look at that. This number means nothing. You're never really gonna get this much power out of the amp, but it is telling you what it's capable of on a resistive load. So it's still interesting nonetheless. So here's the dyno sheet updated with all the additional numbers, the low ohm testing. But I actually had somebody on YouTube ask me, hey Big D, what about eight ohms? So yeah, I hooked the amp back up and tried it at 8 ohms. Here you go. All right, guys, here's the Tar Amp Smart 3 again. I had one of my commenters ask what the amp did at 8 ohms. And I promised you guys I would do the low impedance testing if I got 3,000 likes. But I had somebody ask what about 8 ohms. And I said, you know what? I will come out here to the lab and I will try it out and we will find out together. So let's do it. Have to do the two channel mode, eight ohms, certified. Let's find out what it does. Here we go, 40 Hertz. All right, looks like 1109 Watts at eight ohms. Let's uh, switch it over to the uncertified mode. And make sure we got the track at the beginning, 40 hertz. We'll reset the clamp. All right, let's try uncertified up the clipping at 40 hertz. The Tar Amp Smart 3. All right, 1108 watts at 13.81. Not real sure what happened here. Why well, that didn't show the number, because it saw it counting up and then something happened. Anyway, I think my batteries might be low on my clamp. Uh, so I'm just going to remove this for the dynamic test. So let's try the dynamic test last. And start dyno. Here we go. Very close to the same. 1114 watts. See the V meters go. Test is over. 1114 watts at 14 volts. So right around 1,000 watts is what you're getting at eight ohms, which is incredible, honestly. That is a whole lot of power at eight ohms. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short little clip at eight ohms for the Tar Amp Smart 3. Till next time, Nora Big D is. That's right. I'm out of here.